Hello everyone, it's me Votech and welcome back to a new video. So today I'll be teaching you how you can build this easy yet efficient melon and pumpkin farm in Minecraft Bedrock Edition. So without any further ado, let's get this video started. Okay, so we'll start off by placing a double chest like this and a hopper going into the chest, a restaurant comparator going out of the hopper, a block next to the comparator and a restaurant torch on the block and place a block like this and place a repeater going out of the block and now crouch and place a block in front of the repeater so now place a powered rail on top of the hopper which should get powered and place some normal rail like this so you should place around 4 to 5 normal rail okay so that will be enough and yeah I'm going to place a few more like this and so I'll place a powered rail and get the rail up to here like this so now I'm using a 11 by 11 platform so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and this will be the middle hopefully I'll replace that okay so place a row of redstone blocks in the middle for the powered rail and place rail all on top like this with 3 powered rail in the middle like this so I'm going to fill all of this up and I'll be back. Okay, so at the end, place one more redstone block, a power two power rails, and a block next to the rail like this, so that the minecart will bounce off. Yeah, so our collection system is basically almost done. So we'll move on to the next part. Okay, so once that step is finished place three blocks on top of the rail so it should be four blocks on top of this platform break the bottom two so this will be like our placeholder blocks make sure you place an easy breaking block I'm using grass here so make a layer of the same size of the platform above it and fill this up so I'm going to fill this up and I'll be back Okay, so our temporary or placeholder blocks are in place. Okay, so now what we need to do is break this block and place a piston facing down. Skip one block and place a piston. And do this all the way till the end. Okay, so the pistons are placed. So now if you place a block on top of the rail, the piston should be one block above the block you placed. So you can remove this. And now what you need to do is come above and like remove every other, remove all the other remaining placeholder blocks and place observers facing downwards. So you need to do this all the way till the end. Okay, so guys, don't forget to place pistons in these blocks. Which I forgot. And place observers in the remaining places. Okay, so I have placed observers so so these observers will be in the next step so after placing the pistons like this which look great we need to place a layer of dirt on top of the rail like this so we should fill in a layer of dirt of the size of this platform like so okay so the dirt layer is also filled now what you need to do is go up and get yourself a hoe and till all the land uh, which is going to be underneath the observers so it will look like this so the 
blocks below the pistons will be dirt normal dirt and the other blocks will be tilled land yeah so i'll do that really quickly Okay, so once all that land is tilled, it should look something like this. And I think I have missed. Oh, okay, so it should look something like this. Make sure to fill in all the land. I think it's turning back into grass or dirt. So now take in your pumpkin or melon seeds and plant them at every one of the tilled land. So I'm going to do. I think half half so I'll plant half pumpkin and half melon okay so all the places have been filled with seeds so now we need to like such a way to hydrate the land or uh, I'll place two stairs like this break the back one go here and place a stair like this and place a stair like this so that it will be easy for us to hold the water in place okay so as you can see this looks like this and place in buckets of water and make sure to do this all around the plot so I'm not going to do that here now what you need to do is place in observers which are facing down so that the redstone is facing upwards so yeah Okay, so the observers are in place. Now we need to place a uh, redstone dust on top of every piston, like this. Okay, so now we'll be placing solid blocks on top of these observers so that when they detect a melon or pumpkin growing they'll the blocks will be powered and the rest on dust near the block will also be powered so we need to place in blocks make sure these are solid blocks okay so this is looking great so now what we need to do is place in glass all around the farm so that the melons and pumpkin won't fly out when they are harvested so place in a layer of glass all around it like this Okay, so now all that's left to do is place in your hopper minecart and yeah, your farm is done. So as you can see, these just fired I think. So now what I'll do is increase the random tick speed for the video. So the pistons will be firing because the observers will be detecting the growth of these these things so as you can see our <laughs> farm is working great the hopper minecart won't be able to keep up if we keep the random tick speed so high so slash game rule random tick speed 
speed 100 okay so as you can see once these are fully grown it will be <laughs> it will be raining melons and pumpkins okay so i think we have a little bit of problem at our unloader so all we need to do is remove these blocks place two blocks this way like this and then place normal rails here and a power drill here so yeah our farm is finished so as you can see i don't think the hopper minecart is being able to keep up so i'll do i'll show you like that i'll place the hopper facing into that hopper place two power drill like this and yeah it's done so i'll throw in another hopper minecart <laughs> oh my god there are so many melon and pumpkins and some of them even managed to fly out as you can see our farm is working great so we'll just wait for the hopper minecart to return and we'll see okay it's picking up pumpkins yeah so as you can see it is working so we need to do it like this so we'll need two hoppers and yeah so that's it for this video hope you enjoyed i'll meet you in the next video goodbye